ways that I want to deal with metrics reporting. The first thing I want to say is um, we have some specific metrics that will be reported to the uh, management above the SOC and the steering committee. Okay, going back to that notion of the steering committee, if they're giving, you know, sort of, if we're giving them information and they're basically watching our performance and helping us to understand if we're doing what the business needs or not, and we can agree on some metrics um, and then basically report these to them consistently. Uh, the next thing, and a lot of people blend this with the metric. Um, the next thing is a service level objective. Now, metric is a measurement. Um, it is a measurement uh, compared to a point in time in order to show sort of some result. Metric does not expressly state what the value uh, should be or what the organization would like it to be. A service level objective um, actually uh, specifies that. And so the service level objective is, uh, is basically a performance uh, level that we're trying to get to. And the internal scope metrics are for your self-assessment. You don't report this out. Okay? So I'm going to give um, these three different areas a uh, basically a treatment of what metrics I think uh, should be reported. Again, this is another one of those sections where I'm providing a lot of stuff. You probably aren't going to do all of these um, in terms of reporting them. Pick and choose the ones that you think are uh, think are are good um, for you in your environment. Also, I would start with a small number. Don't try to report on 15 or 20 metrics to start off with. Start with three or four. Um, agree that these are the ones that you'll express, that these represent the highest current priority for the organization right now, especially if you're uh, starting off. So, the, so these are the reported metrics. These do not have a corresponding service level objective. I will show you a service level objective um, in the next section when I talk about the SLOs. 